Hi guys, okay, here's this video on how to quickly draw the Sydney Harbour Bridge just by, and again, this is not a uh, very detailed uh, way of uh, drawing the, the bridge. It's a very simple sketch, okay? So all you need to do is first begin with um, just the basic dimensions of the bridge. So for example, the length is of the entire arch is about 500 meters and the height of the bridge above the water level, I'm just call, gonna call it Big H, is um, about 135 meters and um, then the other dimension I guess I'm looking for is that above sea level the bottom of the deck I'm gonna call it small h is about 50 meters so these are all very approximate right but we'll get you in the ballpark so I'm gonna start off with just a very simple horizontal line okay because the bridge pretty much has a very flat um, vertical profile so we can just do something very uh, very simple it's kind of like that. Okay, so now I think I'm going to begin with two vertical lines to denote the, the ends of the bridge. So you see like this is my reference point at this stage. I have no idea how long this is, but I'm going to call that length of 500 meters, right? So this is approximately 500. Okay, with that, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my calculator to just come up with a few simple ratios. So 500 divided by... Um, let's assume that this is deck level. So I'm going to come up with uh, the height. I'm trying to find the height of the arch. So approximately this is the midpoint right here. And I'm going to try to find the height of the arch. So this dimension from here to here should be 135 minus 50. And that's approximately 85 meters. Right? And that is a ratio of length. So 500 meters divided by 85 is about six, right? So what that means is if I were to divide this length into six parts, then one sixth of that is the top of the arch above the deck. All right, so let's do that. Um, so that's the midpoint. And I'm gonna roughly divide this into three equal parts. And that seems about three equal parts, right? And then this much, if I were to project it, so that should be the top of the arch somewhere over here. Okay, good enough for me. Um, the other thing that you need with this exercise is just an eraser. So you can keep erasing some useless construction lines. All right, so that's about the top of the arch. Now the other thing I'm looking for is the depth, because remember it's got, it's a truss, right? So at the top, um, and then there's the, there's the bottom cord. You need to figure out where that bottom cord is. So I know it's about 18 meters uh, at mid-span. So let me call that dimension A. So that's about 18 meters. Okay, so let's figure out how much 18 is uh, in relation to the rise of the deck, um, rise of the arch above the deck, which is 85 meters. So let's do 85 divided by 18. That's about 4.8 seven. So I'm going to call it one fifth. So one fifth of this is the depth of the truss at the midpoint. Okay. So if that's the total length, eh, if I've got to divide it into five parts, so one, two, three, eh, seems like that's about what it should be right in the middle. Okay. So I've got my two points in the middle. Now I've got to do the same thing at the end. At the end, I know that the total depth of the truss I'll call that D, is uh, 57 meters, so 57 meters. And that is approximately three times, three times A. Because three times uh, the depth at the middle, 18 times three, oops, error times three, is about 54. Okay, so that makes sense. So three times this is the depth at the end. All right. Um, the other thing that I know is that let me first get the arch going through here. I also know that the um, approximately the foundations and that the sea level is 50 meters below the deck. Okay, so that again has a ratio of 85. 85 divided by 50 is about 1.7. I'm going to call it 2. So 2 of these, if I were to just project that underneath, this should be uh, the sea level and the 
the top of my foundations approximately so I'll put them right here okay and I'm gonna assume that the bottom cord uh, which is the thrust part of the arch uh, this is the point it's a thrust arch right in the permanent configuration the Sydney arch bridge is uh, a thrust bridge and this is the bottom cord that connects to the thrust blocks at the end so let me make that parabola right uh, it's all very approximate but let's say what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from here okay that's good enough and then try to hit that point and it should be fairly horizontal here uh, and these are all construction lines there eh? so I'm gonna erase them later okay there you go uh, that's reasonable enough so that's the bottom cord now I've got to work on the top cord now remember the top cord um, at this point uh, that's the location of it at the end um, above this point should be about three times um, higher than that so I call this two so maybe I go another panel so somewhere over here is what I would call and if I were to draw a straight line from here to here that would be the other end of it is is the location of my top cord at the end now remember on the Sydney Harbour Bridge and that's a very important question I'm gonna ask you guys later on the Sydney Harbour Bridge um, the top cord does not really follow uh, the profile of the bottom cord and there's a very interesting fact as to why that is but um, we'll get to that a bit later right and, and that also gives it this very unique shape that it has right so th this part um, and then after a certain point it starts becoming parallel to the top uh, or almost parallel to the bottom cord so if I were to approximate that um, it kind of has this sort of a shape that and all I got to do is follow the same shape for the other side remember guys it's all very approximate we're just trying to capture the essence of the bridge okay there we go so this is what the bridge kind of looks like now I know that it's got these concrete blocks at the end I'm gonna exaggerate the gap um, between the end of the steel and these concrete guys and I don't really remember how tall they are but let's quickly have a look at one of the photos um, of the finished bridge yeah it seems like these blocks uh, they're monumental I don't really think they serve any structural function and so let's just make them uh, I don't really have any relative dimensions right now we'll fix that a bit later but let's say they're doing something like this. Good enough for now. Now the approach pans, we won't pay a lot of attention to them, but let's just assume that this is the deck level. And um, we know it's an under deck truss. So it's doing something like that. That's the deck level. And then there is that truss at the end. And I'm gonna not do much more with it. Okay. So this is how you've got the basic shape of it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, the the arch panel points, the truss panel points in this. All right, okay, so now for me to get the general look of this uh, truss arch, I'm going to have to define some of the verticals and diagonals. Okay, so now the whole arch from end to end has a total of 28 panels. 28 panels. What that means is, because remember the total length is 500 meters, so which means that each panel, so I'm gonna call it um, the, the length of each panel. So let me call that uh, small l. That is gonna be 500 divided by 28, and that's gonna be approximately, let's see, 500 divided by 28, about 18 meters. And remember, that's uh, coincidentally the same as the, uh, the depth of the the truss or the arch right at mid span 18 meters so that's interesting and I already have that measure over here so approximately this much okay so in order to do that very quickly for the sketch what I'm gonna do is first go to the half of the arch and then find the half of the half <laughs> which is somewhere over here okay so now I know actually uh, wasn't very good let's do a better job so the half is about over here that's a bit better okay 
So once I have that, now I know that this bit needs to be divided into seven parts. And approximately each part has to be um, that long, okay? So let me give it a stab. So this into seven parts, and a, this is where the first one is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, it seems about right. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other half now. So here, so one, no, I don't like that one. So maybe one, two, three, four, yeah. This one's not working out good because one, two, three, four. So let me let me go back. Let me erase those construction lines. Redraw my arch. That's all right if you make a mistake. It's not a problem. All right, let's start again. I think the first one was correct. So one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay. Now I'm gonna just follow the same thing for the other side. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. So, and again, remember it's a very approximate exercise, right? Um, okay, with that, actually I don't like this end at all. <laughs> um, bit of a perfectionist. Okay, that's all right. Remember, these are all construction lines, so they'll be deleted later. Uh, here we go. Okay, that's again. So if I were to start from this end and try to mimic that, it would be somewhere here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I'm back on track. Okay, so those are all the the panel points or or maybe let, let me just call them verticals right so those are the verticals now for the diagonals the way it works on the sydney harbor bridge is you go to the middle and then and you start connecting them uh sort of like backwards over here like this then if you just followed all the way through that would give you all of your diagonals and mimic the look of the the harbor bridge Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, I think that's good enough. I've got my construction lines. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a, um, a black fine tip pen over here to go over that and just to make it, give it a bit more uh, of a defined look and just, uh, and after that erase my construction lines, all right? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to first begin. I like to draw my water first. And you know, water, you can be a bit uh, wobbly with your water. It actually makes it look quite realistic if you're a bit wobbly. Kind of like that. All right, so that's my water. Okay. Um, the next thing I think I should do is the bottom arch. So here we go. And again, it's approximate. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just follow that line. there we go that's my bottom arch okay and let's define these blocks a bit better at the end um, kind of like this all right I think that's good enough for now and then this guy over here just trying to match the guy on the other side That's good enough. Let's give it some sort of a ground on this side, ground on that side. I don't know what there really is, um, but I'm not too worried about details on the approaches. But um, okay, here's the approach deck. And then let's assume the truss is that deep. Same thing on this side. All right, we'll put some more definition into that a bit later. Okay, now let's work with the, remember I put a bit of a exaggerated gap at the end. That's okay, to show a bit of a gap between the concrete block and the steelwork. Now, that's the interesting part over here. Let's just follow this shape. 
This is what defines the Sydney Harbour Bridge and gives it that really interesting look. You can see that I'm defining these in fragments because that gives me a bit more control. All right, and then I've got to the end. This is just a vertical guy. And you can make it a bit thick at the end. Matter. Okay, so now I've got to do my roadway and the roadway has to be the same level as the approach deck. And remember, this is pretty flat, is based on what I see. Uh, the bridge does not have much of a vertical curve. Okay, and after that, I'm gonna work on the panel points. So let's define the verticals first. This generally go in this overlap your construction lines with a pen and as you go you can just keep making some minor improvements just to generally make it look like it is a bit more accurate okay now let's work on the diagonals here we go kind of like that uh, some of these are going beyond the top cord, that's fine. All right. And then find it easier to work like this on the other side. Here we go. All right. Okay, so the next part that we're going to work on is the, the hangers of the bridge. Okay, so <clears throat> with regard to the hangers, what I found is that um, your arch crosses the, the deck or it rises above the deck at about or, or past the third panel point, right? And which makes sense because right now you've just drawn a single line for the depth of the deck. In fact, the deck has a greater depth than that and probably has some sort of a, of a stiffening girder system uh, underneath the deck. So um, if you look at any photograph of the bridge, what you'll find is that the deck is approximately um, this deep, something like here. So I'm just gonna draw another parallel line to define the top of my deck. Kind of like this. And just follow that all the way through till the end. Sort of like this. All right, so one, two, third panel point is where it actually crosses. I'm gonna use another pen after this to, to color in between these two lines um, and just call that one solid line as the overall deck. So this is a thicker tip over here. Here we go. And just fill that in. Good. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side because the deck has to match, right? The top of the deck between the approaches and the arch. There we go. Okay, so after that, we're ready to define our hangers. The hangers literally begin from the fourth panel point onward, so kind of like this. And there is a hanger at every panel point, of course. So we go on. with hangers, you know, you don't have to be super, you just try to get them vertical. And, and as you go to the bottom, you may not get a fully defined line, that's fine. Kind of makes it look cool if it doesn't go and touch all the way to the end or to the top. That's about it. All right, so now with that, the one last thing that I did find is that there is these, um, some sort of windows uh, on these monuments. I'm just gonna put some sort of a window over here. Uh, just to 
just to give it that sort of a look. Um, and uh, I really don't have any idea what these approach trusses look like. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to imagine them to be something and I'll, I'll say, okay, they kind of do something like this and perhaps they follow the same pattern. As a diagonals in the main arch, kind of like this. Good enough. All right. Now let me go and erase my construction lines. And that's my Sydney Harbour Bridge.